thought I'd show you this pack of jelly rolls that I got. I've tried these before. I think I have the shimmer packet. I'm not sure if it's the opaque or the stardust, but I have, or maybe the metallic, I'm not sure. But I have a smaller packet that I tried out, I think from Hobby Lobby. And then I decided to just go ahead and get this whole thing. And when I got it, I thought it was too pretty not to share. So I thought that I would show you this little unboxing. Um, it's obviously not totally an unboxing since I've taken these out, but it did come in this container. It was not organized in rainbow colors. I think it was just kind of a random assortment in here because I don't think that it was organized this way either. So I'm going to take them out and try to organize them by the metallic, the classic, the moonlight, the stardust, and the shadows. And then I will also do swatches of all of these as well for you. I'll speed it up so it's not too long of a video. And then after I do the swatches, I will also go ahead and organize them for you. And I will show you that process as well. My plan is to use one of these zippered colored pencil pouches. I haven't tried it with this full pack. I do think that I have some of my smaller pack in one of these, but I will go ahead and try to put them all in for you and then kind of show you at the end what I came up with. So I thought that I would just take you along with me and show you what all is in this um, 74 pack, what they all look like as I write them all out. If you aren't familiar with the jelly rolls, these are just gel pens that write very smoothly. They're very inky and at least the ones I've tried, um, take quite a while to dry. They do have a few different sizes. The metallic says 0.4 millimeters. Um, the classic says 0.3 and 0.4. The moonlight says 0.3 and 0.5. And then the stardust is 0.5 and the silver and gold shadow is 0.7. So you can kind of see the difference between those as I go through the swatches, hopefully. And let's just get right into it. I also quickly thought that I'd show you um, the difference between these two different um, dot grid journals. This is my Archer and Olive notebook that I'm using this year. This has very thick paper, so I don't expect any bleeding. I have tried these pens and I saw a little bit of ghosting, but not bad. And then I'll also show it to you in my Lois Trim journal, which does have quite a bit thinner of paper. So we might have some bleeding, but let's just see. So I'm gonna show you using these two different colors. They both have some numbers on them and this one says number 24 and 651. And so I think if we go here, we can see that this one is gold shadow pink and this one is just classic purple. So here you can see the differences. I know the colors are a little bit different but that's because this Lois Trim journal has a lot warmer of a color of paper and the Archer and Olive is more of a bright white, a lot cooler of a color. And so that does kind of affect the way that the pens look here. That's what they look like on this side. And then if we flip them over, this is the Archer and Olive. I'm not sure if it'll come across on camera. I can see a very, very little bit of ghosting. I think it's on that pink, which is a really thick um, line, but it's not bad at all. It's not anything that I really notice, and I have pretty bright lights on, um, so that might be part of the reason why I'm noticing it. If you were just in regular light, you may not notice as much trying to get it to come across, but really it's very, very minimal. And then this one is the Lois Trim Journal. As you can see, I did not write straight, but also as you can see, um, you can see both of them, but this one did bleed quite a bit and that's that pink, which is funny because it doesn't look anything like that, but it kind of bleeds through as like a hot pink. And then this one is just visible, but I don't think it's actually bleeding. Maybe the thicker size pins um, are the ones that bleed a little bit more. I'm not sure. I'll definitely be using these a lot more so I can update you in a future video if you're curious about what the rest of them look like and how they write. But for now, I'm just gonna sort these all out and then I'm gonna do my swatches for you and then I'm going to organize them in the pen case. So I hope this is helpful for you. I'm probably just gonna put some music on and speed it up a little bit so you guys aren't watching a super, super long video. But if you wanna see more videos like this where I kind of get new supplies and test them out and show you how I organize them, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos throughout the week, you can also follow me on Instagram at How to Hand Letter. And as always, leave any questions you have in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.